It's Sunday again, a few months later. Um, I've managed to cut grooves in here for the uh, clips that hold the piston pin in, the wrist pin. And the next thing I'm gonna tackle is the rings. I managed to get my bore pretty good. Um, earlier in the videos I was stating that I bored the cylinder first since I was making my pistons from scratch. One of the uh, hangups that I had was a hone. I, uh, if, I had, if I could start all over again, I would have bored it to a size that I already had a hone for. Right now it's an awkward size. It's 1.69, you know, over an inch and a half, but less than inch and three quarter. My hone, there's a gap in my hones and I have Amcos, I have two sets of Amcos. I have a uh, Lyle that started an inch and a half but uh, the stones don't work. So I did what I could with one of these flex types, which I don't like to use these. They don't get the bore straight or keep the bore straight when you get your clearance in. I, I left three thousandths to hone. Having started over, I would have just gone up to like one and three quarters of an inch and used a nicer rigid style hone, which I don't even have one sitting out here. But anyway, uh, so the rings, I bought some 44 millimeter rings, which are obviously too big, quite a bit, and I dug up some tech data, which is translatable from uh, cut of piston rings, which is piston gap. It's uh, looks like three thousandths, almost four thousandths minimum clearance, and then. Um, three tenths, three hundredths, excuse me, three hundredths. So that's like, that's a whole world of distance. I'm going to shoot for this and I know that it's not going to work. So, hey, I'll fall somewhere into this line and I've got a lot of play here. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take these piston rings, which have a detent for a locating pin. And I'm going to start by grinding to that line square with it and I'll show you my setup for that and then I'll grind in new grooves because they're less critical for a locating pin. Let's see how it goes. For grinding the piston ring gap I'm going to use this Dremel tool with a big thick wide cutoff wheel. If you don't have a thick one stack like three or four together these won't take any side load at all. They'll bust apart and potentially cause reproductive harm so for the sake of being safe and the risk of thumbs downing videos, I'm going to show you something unsafe. And I know, I'm aware, I'm willing to take the risk. I don't recommend you do it this way, but a Dremel tool works pretty good for a lot of other things. Always keep this one hung up and hanging from a uh, flex shaft. I'll put, um, once this disc, once I'm done using the disc, I take them off because they always break. You drop, you, you get near them and they break. So I'll put a uh, garnet, a round garnet bulb in here, and I use that for uh, doing transfer ports and chamfering the edges with that. Works a lot. This tool I've had quite a while, and it gets a lot of use, even though it's just a hokey homeowner Dremel tool. The alternative is big money. So, hey, maybe one day. I'm going to turn this on to a crawl. And the goal here is to take this pin recess off and then I'm going to stick it in the bore and measure it and I'm going to do that by placing this parallel to the stone and doing work across the cutoff wheel quick work better than a file Let's see what that looks like. So we've taken those out and we're going to size it here, putting it in the bore, 
taking a piston to square it up. And then we're gonna measure the gap for your gauge. I've already done this before I hit record here, so I've got a 20 thousandths feeler gauge and it is pinching it. Excuse me. 0 0.020, which is like half a millimeter. And if we go back to the tech data here, it says uh, a tenth of a millimeter to an eight or eight tenths of a millimeter. So one tenth of a millimeter to eight tenths of a millimeter. And we're at five. So that's acceptable. I'm gonna try and do a little better on the next few. I've gotta make six total. Hey, but that's working. I'll show you what I got so far. I got a ring on here. The locating pin, actually when I casted these pistons, there's a consideration for where those pins are and the casting is beefed up there. So I'm gonna think about that a little bit further down the road. I got plenty of work to do today. I gotta make six of these. So just before I go and make six, I'm gonna make sure this fits. This tool, the spring compression tool, is designed for a chainsaw engine. I think um, it came from Italy in a set of a bunch of plastic pieces like this. This just happens to be perfect, but I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a bear to do when I've gotta put six rings in this twin. And the, uh, the connecting rod, you don't have a whole lot of adjustment because the uh, pistons move together. So I'll be putting probably one ring in every millimeter or so. It's gonna be a bear. But hey. It's gonna break in nice. Break in or break. 